Hi, everyone. My name is Mitch Leitner, and I am an application scientist with Nanoscience Instruments. Today, I'll be showcasing the sample preparation technique known as sputter coating for sample analysis with the Phenom SEF. This is the second in a series of videos detailing sample prep, which is by far the most crucial part of any SEM analysis. Improper sample preparation can negatively impact the quality of imaging for our users, so be sure to employ the practices outlined in this series to ensure superb analysis with the Phenom SEM. Sputter coating is utilized in SEM sample prep to mitigate the charge effect. The charge effect, or the phenomenon of electron buildup on the sample surface, is one of the most consistent challenges for SEM operators. Non-conductive materials do not provide a proper pathway for electrons to freely escape the sample surface, so instead they build up. This results in the SEM image becoming brighter and brighter until the features of interest are completely obscured. There are other techniques to reduce sample charging, but one of the most effective and widely used is sputter coating, the process of coating samples in nanometers of conductive material. This extremely thin coating provides both an escape pathway for electrons and increased signal generation, all without obscuring surficial features. I will be demonstrating sputter coating on the Luxor brand of sputter coaters. They are compact, simple instruments with two different models, gold and platinum, and also function as drying and vacuum chambers. The choice of sputtering material does impact SEM imaging, so it is best to know which to choose depending on your application. Coating with gold is most often used by our customers as it does not require argon gas. Platinum coatings are both thinner and more durable, so they work best for imaging nanostructures. The workflow process is the same for both coders, so I will be demonstrating this on the Luxor Gold Coder. First. We remove the lid from the chamber to load the samples into the coder. The roof of the lid contains several labeled pinholes, and this is where we insert the prepared sample stubs. Once inserted, we can return the lid to the chamber, and then move to the touchscreen on the bottom of the coder to begin coating the sample. From the touchscreen, we can select our desired thickness of coating. Most samples need between 3 to 5 nanometers of coating for proper imaging but some difficult materials may require more. Test this out on your own samples to find the ideal thickness for your application. Now we can press start and watch our coder in action. It only takes a couple of minutes for the sputter coating to complete. The chamber will come down to pressure, followed by the ignition of the plasma, indicated by a purple glow inside of the chamber jar. Once completed, we can remove the lid and retrieve our samples. They are now ready to load into the Phenom SEM for imaging. I hope this video gave you insight into the sample preparation technique known as sputter coating. Stay tuned for more videos in the Phenom sample preparation series, and if you have any questions about Phenoms or sputter coaters, please feel free to contact us. I'll see you in the next video.